Hello there, this is Dr. Mintz. I have a very interesting case here of an 81-year-old male who came into the emergency department with cough, shortness of breath, as many people do, and this chest radiograph was obtained. To me, it looks pretty unremarkable. I don't think there's anything there I would call. You look at the hyalur regions, they look pretty good. Lungs are clear. Diaphragm is well seen. No silhouetting. Costophrenic angles are sharp. Pulmonary vasculature appears unremarkable. Bones look fine. And I'll ask you to pay particular attention to the hyalur regions. Remember the left pul main pulmonary artery goes up and over the left main stem bronchus and that's what you're seeing here and its branches whereas the right pulmonary artery goes anteriorly and downward in front of the right main stem bronchus. Okay so this is in October. It comes back in December and this is what we have. Pretty dramatic change. How would you describe the abnormality? And I want to emphasize again, do not begin thinking about the diagnosis or what it is at all when you first encounter a case, including this one. Look at it. Make sure you make all the observations and then we can talk about diagnoses. So what are the observations here? Well, first of all, you have an area of opacity here in the left hyalur region, which we really didn't see before. And you remember, that looked nice and clean there. We saw a very well delineated left pulmonary artery. You don't see that delineation here any longer and you have some opacity in the retrocardiac area. So that hemidiaphragm, which was really quite well seen here, nice sharp margin, is partially silhouetted. You see that. Here you have a nice line. Here you have a nice continuity of the diaphragm. Here it's broken up by this opacity here. On the lateral view, I trust you know which is left and which is right. So there's something abnormal here. What else do we see? Look at the mediastinum on the frontal view. Compare it with this one. See how you have the part of the heart, the right side of the heart, going well to the right of the right margin of the vertebrae there. Not true any longer. And besides silhouetting of the left hemidiaphragm, look what else has happened. It's up. Okay, so areas of increased opacity in the left hyalur region extending down to the left lower lobe. Elevation of the left hemidiaphragm with partial silhouetting. Mediastinal shift to the left consistent with some element of volume loss in the left lung. Okay, so you have an 81-year-old male with volume loss in the left lung. Whether all of this opacity is volume loss or to some extent a tumor, it's hard to tell. Could be pneumonia. Could there be a pneumonia with a bronchus plug obscuring or occluding the left main stem bronchus? Possible. Okay, so that was December 12th. Three days later, December 15th, this is what we see. Now what do you say? Now what is it? Forget about that. What do you say the findings are? There has been an increase in the extent of opacification in the left lung. This includes 
a fairly coalescent or dense area of consolidation or opacity in the left retrocardiac area. And the left hemidiaphragm now appears completely silhouetted. I'm not sure exactly where the left hemidiaphragm is, if it's up here and there has been just that large an extent of volume loss, or if it's down here and it's just opacified. So really hard to tell exactly where that left diaphragm is. Maybe there's more mediastinal shift to the left here. Let's look at, yeah, look at the aortic knob. Part of it is overlying the vertebrae. Here it's more clearly to the left of the vertebrae. Okay, so now we have a problem. What do we do next? What study? You've made the findings, you've described them. At this point, when you start thinking about what study is next, it's a good time to think, what might this abnormality be? Because possibly what you suspect it might be could affect what study you decide to do next. What do you think it might be? Well, we mentioned one possibility, pneumonia with mucus plug causing volume loss, maybe just a mucus plug causing volume loss or some other inhaled foreign body. Could it be cancer? Of course, this is one thing you almost always want to ask in the case of a chest radiograph that's abnormal, particularly when there's volume loss because very often tumors, especially primary tumors, occlude the bronchi, one or more bronchi. So, a good study for that, CT. Let's see what a CT shows us. Here we have a CT chest. There's the trachea. And this was done the 16th. So this is the day after that last chest radiograph. And, well, we see something already here. Follow that. I'll let you get an overview here. What we have, we have something here and something abnormal here. Okay, now let's take a look at it in the coronal plane. And chest CTs, I think, are best look at, looked at in both axial and coronal planes. There is a lot of information. It really helps put things together in your mind by looking at the chest coronal images as well as the axial. Same information pretty much, but our minds uh, aren't as good as the processor and the CT scanner at putting together coronal images based on what we see purely on the axial plane. Okay, so what do we have here? We have opacity in the left upper lobe and if you look, the bronchi are kind of tightly packed. So this looks like left upper lobe volume loss. Here you also, in the left lung base, have a dense area of consolidation. And that could also be volume loss. And once again, the diaphragm is up, suggesting that there is at least some degree of volume loss here. Let's see what the lungs look like, anything. Okay, so now we can see there's something that's extending outward. Now this may be a small area of atelectasis in the left upper lobe. Could be a post-obstructive pneumonia too. Can we see anything in the hilar area specifically? Look right in the hilar area and the mediastinum. Do you see anything specifically there? Let me see if I can zoom in on this a little bit for you. Here's the aorta. Here's the left atrium. Here's the right main stem bronchus. Here's the left main stem bronchus. And look what is happening to the left main stem bronchus. As you move through it, you really never get a view of it open. 
So it's very narrowed here. What's, na what's narrowing it? There's a mass right here. There's a soft tissue mass, and we can see it's immediately inferior to the aortic arch. You know that on a chest radiograph, this is the region of the aorticopulmonary window, the AP window, that little notch. And in this case, what are we seeing? We're seeing a mass filling that area in. What is it producing? It's narrowing this left main stem bronchus, but even where it's not as narrowed, you can see it's filled with some type of material. So, in conclusion, what we seem to have here is a primary tumor. This is typical for a primary lung cancer with post-obstructive atelectasis. And it is involving both the left upper lobe and left lower lobe because the tumor is narrowing and very possibly infiltrating the left main stem bronchus distally and therefore is compromising the origins of both the left upper lobe bronchus and the left lower lobe bronchus. You can see that you are not really able to identify either of those structures connecting with the left main stem bronchus. So this is a bronchogenic carcinoma a bronchogenic carcinoma with associated atelectatic changes in the left lung. And this is probably complete atelectasis of the left upper lobe with the major fissure delineating its margin and areas of atelectasis in the left lower lobe. Well, what is this? That's pleural fluid, not uncommon to develop in a scenario such as this. And now let's see how well we can identify the tumor. Here you have a little bit of that left main stem bronchus. Okay, and then if you follow it, it gets quite narrow right here. So this is the kind of thing we're looking for. This is the kind of thing, once you have an idea of the type of thing that's going on, this is where you have to kind of get out your magnifying glass, or we used to and really study what you think this might be. Look closely at the detail and look for continuity of the bronchi. See if there's soft tissue mass simply surrounding it or possibly infiltrating it as well as a cause for this post-obstructive atelectasis. Also good to look through the lung windows just in case there are any little nodules and nodules can be little metastases and you can also see sometimes lymphangitic carcinomatosis where the, the lymphatics get thickened not from edema but from infiltration of the lymphatics by tumor. Okay, that's it for now.